What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern Cube Draft. I'm your host, Frank Lepore. I'm here today with uh, no one. And uh, what do we take here? Orzhov Signet or Phyrexian Metamorph for the two cards that are catching my eyeballs. I also really like this Nissa. I think this Nissa is great. Uh, what do you guys think? Hmm. <laughs> Big Jack, thank you for saying so, man. Appreciate it. I like Signet a lot, but I also like Metamorph a lot. I think it might be Signet. That seems, that seems so weird, but Signets are so good. I did it. I took the Signet. Metamorph does copy a Signet, but it copies it on three. Hmm. What do we got here? Prismatic Lens is like a bad Signet. I don't think we want to go green again. Not yet, anyway. I also like black-white as a color combination in general. It might just be Prismatic Lens here. Yeah, we're just going to Prismatic Lens. We can stay colorless. Take all the two mana ramping. Distended Mind Bender. Distended McBender. When don't we want to go green? I don't know. I don't know. Could be Yehenny's Expertise. Could be Wrath of God. Expertise might just be better, right? It's like a Wrath of God where you get a free thing. But it doesn't kill big bigs. I think I do like one of these sweepers because we can just be black-white control. That sounds cool. I think it's probably Wrath of God. They can't regenerate. Do you know that? Did you know they can't regenerate? Let's see what happens. I like Angel of Sanctions. Oh, I like Solemn Simulacrum a lot. Ooh, turn three Solemn Simulacrum. Yeah, let's do that. That's where I want to be. Maybe this Angel comes back. Maybe not. Who knows? Hmm... Shriek Maw seems good. So does Cloud Guard Ranger. Look at all these creatures that do things. Probably Shriek Maw, right? That's a versatile guy. Ooh, Unburial Rites, perhaps? Hmm. Is this an Unburial Rites deck? My, the other thing I'm looking at is Entreat. I don't think we have enough tricks to Entreat, but I'm just going to take the Unbarrel Rights because that's a good card. Ooh, Soren Lord of Innistrad. Are you a good one? This is the good one. This is the one I like. I don't like the one that makes two twos for negative two. That guy seems bad. This is a good Soren. I like this Soren. I like it better than Banisher Priest. I like it better than uh, Sidisi as well. I could see taking Everflowing Chalice and just having a Monopoly on all the two mana rocks. I could also see just taking Devour Flesh, but I don't think that's great. I'm just going to take the Everflowing Chalice. Goats and Goblins. We could have Boat Brew, is what you're saying?
Yeah, if you're on a desktop, you can link your Twitch and Discord accounts. I like all the cards we have so far. I can take myself. Ho, 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 ho. It's probably just Precursor Golem, right? Making three dudes. There's got to be a way to do it. On your iPad, try to go for... Um, I'm pretty sure you can probably do it on an iPad, right? I don't know. There's a Discord app for iPad, right? There kind of has to be, right? I'll just take Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat's alright with... Uh, you know, being in the graveyard, I guess. Whatever that means. I don't like this guy a lot. I think this guy's better than just getting people with Mana Tithe. Especially when we can sack, like, the original Precursor Golem, which is real good. Or a Shriek Maw. Or a Solemn Simulacrum. Yeah, this card's great with some of the cards we have right now. Don't you dare hurt that guy. I would never think of it. I would never dream of that. Uh, Blood Crypt is, is, seems fine. We could be Mardu. That's a late dual land as well, so. I'm going to take Blade Splicer here, because that's a good dude. Mike B might be joining us. I thought Mike B would be asleep, so I didn't even invite him. But he was like, hey man, how come you didn't invite me to the stream? And I'm like, I didn't know. So, there you go. Hey, that's a late Sidisi. Hey, we could have the Damnation and Wrath of God deck. I think I just... Ooh, Coalition Relic, though. Ooh, also Baneslayer Angel. Coalition Relic's way good. Way good, right? Way good. Something happened. Filth Eater, thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Appreciate it. I'm going to take the Coalition Relic. I like Fetid Heath. I also like Sun Titan, actually. Sun Titan seems good. Probably better than Fetid Heath when we already have, like... We're only two colors. <laughs> Some kind of Nap Elemental. <laughs> oh, Jiposhi. You are nature's little treasure, my friend. Yeah, I think Sun Titan's pretty scare scary. Also, I bet Fetid Heath comes back. The uh, I don't think the filter lands get taken very highly, so. So, make me feel Sun Titan, we? That's pretty good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. We got Zenith, Flicker Wisp, Six Mana Sorin. Shrine of Loyal Legions could be real good. Hmm. 
What's Flicker Whisk good with? Psalm Simulacrum. It's good with Shriek Maw. It's good with Precursor Golem. It's good with Blade Splicer. It's not bad. Yeah, we can go Flicker Wisp. I think it's good enough. Shrine is uh, three mana, and then three two mana two mana and three mana to activate. And when you crack it, you uh, make a number of one ones equal to the number of tokens counters on it. There you go. What you guys did is better than what I was doing, which was awkwardly describing it. I actually like Vampire Hex Mage as just a way to deal with uh, Planeswalkers. Juposhi, I think you and I are on the same page there, buddy. We can also just get it back with Sun Titan. Um, what do we got here? Brain Maggie. Mind control is real good. Could just be Inquisition in this format. I don't think Inquisition <coughs> that bad in this format. Probably pretty good. Brain Maggot could also be good, especially with Sun Titan. Juposhi, you are still nature's little treasure. Don't you ever forget it. Can't take the double blue card, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just take Inquisition. I don't love it, but that's okay. <laughs> I do want to splash blue at some point, and it's only getting worse when I see things like Phantasmal Image. I'm just going to take Gifted Aetherborn here. I think this card is great. Skin render? I like a skin render a lot. That's a weird that's a weird sentence to say. I like skin render. It does deal with the opponent's shrine of loyal legions. It also deals with the opponent's uh shrine of burning rage as well. <clears throat> Liliana Spectre. That is not the same as a Hypnotic Spectre by any means. Could still be pretty good with Flicker Wisp. I don't know. Probably just want Quarantine Field as like a catch all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, boy. You're really testing me here, Magic. You're really testing me here. I don't like it. Um, I'm taking it. I think we have enough creature removal. Oh, the Fetidies did come back. Great news. Um, Yeah, Soren's fine. Chain to the rocks, and uh, you give a bad name. <clears throat> yeah, brain maggot, sure. Una. 
What if we just replace all our white cards with black cards of the same thing? Like, we can replace Wrath with Obliterator. We can replace Sun Titan with Una. Adorn Pouncer with Brain Maggot. <clears throat> Are we mono black then? Ooh, Gristle Dad. I think it's actually Gristle Dad. We have enough ramp here that actually just hard cast Gristle Dad, and that's probably better than Worm Coil. And we have two unburial rights. We have one unburial rights, but that's like having two unburial rights. Gristle Dad. <clears throat> Not close. Well, it's close. Great Merchant didn't come back, which is interesting. So, you know, there's that. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, I like that a lot. Ghost Dad. I'm okay, Ghost Dad. I think Ghost Dad's better than this member here. Got Brimaz. Got Pitiless Horde. Oh, I like Whip of Erebos. Hmm. <clears throat> so I'm like, Mike, where you at, man? Are you coming? And he's like, oh, yeah, I got distracted watching some League of Legends. <laughs> oh, good times. <clears throat> I think it's probably Brumaz. Fenadroid, happy birthday, buddy. <clears throat> I hope you found a way on your birthday. I like a Brumaz, especially with Sun Titan. I'm just going to take the Brumaz. Condemn is actually probably reasonable. Soul Reap is kind of weird. I guess it's just like... Uh, like a Doom Blade for green, right? I think Condemn is probably better, right? Probably better than Soul Reap. I want that one mana instant speed. <coughs> so this is 23 cards. I can see us playing this deck. Ooh, Bloodstained Mire. That does not get us any lands other than Swamp right now, though, so. That's sad. Oh, look who it is. How'd you hear me? Chinable, congrats on the victory. How did I hear you? Yeah. Well, you're not very fleet of foot, as they say. Who says that? I've, I've, heard, I've heard him say it on the internet. It was my dad. My dad always talks about how 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 awkward you are in life. I don't have to take here. Am I just being guys? <clears throat> Might be graveborn muse. I'll just take the graveborn muse. I actually have a blood crypt. No, nah, I'm just taking graveborn muse. Ooh, caves of coilos. <coughs> that seems pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. Who we got so far? Bunch of black white nonsense. How did he hear you? You sound like a swamp with legs. Wow. <laughs> wow. I can't even take this insult because what does that mean? You sound like a swamp with legs? You know what it means. I, I have you generally know. no idea. You know what it means. Do we have a thing like this yet? I don't think so. A disenchante? A disenchante! Hey. 
I'll just take the disenchant. Disenchant there. Ooh, Gilded Lotus Ooh. and Dominaria. Isolated like Trap. What? I like that a lot. Gilded Lotus and Dominaria? Oh my god. Sell your Gilded Lotuses, kids. Ooh. Yeah, I'm taking Isolated Trap. Spicy one. <clears throat> god, do I sell my Gilded Lotuses on here? Probably. Oh, they're worth they're worth seventeen cents. I think I think I can hold out. It's awkward. In real life, you're worth quite a bit. You are. Got him. Well, I'm at least worth my organs. <laughs> <coughs> He's. You're only worth as much as your organs, kids. Keep that in mind. Look, we got Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse in the same pack. Hmm. Was this the first draft? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I started like 10 minutes before you messaged me. Whatever, I'll take the only card I can play. Oh. Solid strategy. Alright. Yeah, okay. This deck needs a Gary. Gary! <clears throat> Damn it. What happened? Did you just drop your did you drop your chocolate? No, I dropped the little thing. Your marijuana cigarette? No the little useless thing that comes with every Hershey's kiss. Oh, that's the that's the kiss part, right? The paper. Uh, I have no idea. What's the flavor text? What's the uh <clears throat> The perfection of the lotus reminds me of my hope for this world and my and my failures. I will not rest until I've atoned for them. Wow, that's good. That's some heavy corn feels right there. Very sultry. Sultry? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're sultry. Thank what are, you. What are we cutting I'm here? Not sure. Oh, what do you cut? Um. Let's see. This mag lens doesn't seem that strong. You don't seem that strong. That means you seem weak. Are you weak, I got Michael? It. I understand. <clears throat> Very salty for losing Mirrodin. <laughs> you guys are bored in Wrath of God. I'll board you in, you stupid Mitch. I like boarding Wrath of God in. I can get behind that. Card can be awkward sometimes. You can be awkward all the time. Well, you got pretty good fixing, too. I don't know why you sound like that. It's very strange to me, but okay. No, you know why. Seven seven three. Because of that failed experiment. Oh, that's right. I forgot when the government took you. That's a good point. I'm so sorry for what they did to you. No, you're not. I want to be though. I, I want to be. Can you show me? Isn't that the important part? I want to be. <clears throat> can you show me? All right, look at this. We're already we're already bebopping and scotting all over the place. I think that's illegal. If anyone knows what that reference is from, I would be impressed. I will play first. What was it? Bebopping and scotting all over the place. <clears throat> no, I don't know it. <clears throat> yeah, they never do. The sand looks amazing. It's on the internet. Someone ought to know that. You would think so. You would think so, Michael. I'll just probably just Google it. I'll Google your face. Oh, what do we got here? Pulse Elves? Wow, look at this hand. Six mana, Immortal Sun. Seven mana, Tooth and Nail. Elves. Yeah, we're definitely taking Pulse here. Yeah. Wow, that Man, is a... That is a marijuana a... cigarette didn't really turn out this time. <laughs> sometimes you roll a good marijuana spliff, and sometimes you don't, my friend. Show us the inside of your face. That's not possible. Show it to us, Michael. You got an X-Acto knife with you? No one has that. Oh, that's too bad. Not since the old X-Acto factory accident. This lamp behind your monitor seems pretty useless. Um, <clears throat> It's so that I can... Let me show you. It's so I can shut the regular light off in the room and have this one on. 
so I can go like this. Regular lights off. Oh, I don't have a connection here apparently. <laughs> That's weird. All right. Anyway. Anyway, it's good. It's a good thing. Some dimmer lighting. Yeah. Right. So I can have more. Like if I'm just working on my computer at night, I can just turn that on and. <clears throat> I guess we're just gonna pass here and uh, try to play Obsidian next turn. What did inside of your face? Just open your mouth. Yeah, it's a good point. Actually, I don't know why you didn't do that. I resubbed with Twitch Prime and the thing didn't go off. Zagon, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You're right, it didn't go off. It also isn't shown on my my notifications either. Weird. So I do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. I feel uncomfortable with people asking me to show them my mouth. It's, it's real weird. So, oh, I see what's happening. Look what's happening right now. He's One, two, to three, four, five, nail. six. And we know they have a swamp in hand? Ooh. It's still only seven. He needs nine. Yeah, but he can just get two things. Hmm. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we'll definitely play this next turn to get two things, but... Playing a little obs, daddy? You know it. Would you like to use this ability? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. And then he was gone. Like, if they play Immortal Sun, we're just going to get Immortal Sun and Everflowing Chalice. Ooh, we might be doing that. Actually, was this the Swamp? They might not have the Swamp. All right. <clears throat> oh, this is just fine. This is going to work out quite well. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. That's what Obsidat the says. Spookies. There's so many Spookies on that card. There's like five spookies, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think there's maybe six. I don't know if this is a, I think it a, might be six. a slender spooky. The slenderest of spookies. You know, slender spooky. That's from... Show your belly. Dance with the chat. Okay, well... <laughs> Why not do that? I don't understand. What problem is? Do you want to do the old truffle shuffle? I want to know. Can you show me? I'm not afraid anymore. <clears throat> Spooky, scary. Ghosts becoming men. Men becoming gone. You know, you know how it goes. Show it, Mike. Show it. <laughs> oh, they're just cycling. All right. Man, Inquisition nailing Maelstrom Pulse. Woo! Nice and safe for the quarantine field. Woo! <clears throat> Are they down here? Do they attack with their elf of or their elf of deep shadow? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> they drew a canyon slow. Slew? Slow slew? Cane slop. What? Canyon slop. Slip slop slippity slip. <clears throat> Did you show your belly yet or what? Not yet. Well, it's getting real old, buddy. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy costs eight. Dang. You just wait it out. Although it is really good because it gets rid of the tooth now. Yeah. But he still weighs off of that. We also just sack the Obsidant. Obsidant deals your opponent two damage every turn and kills one of his creatures. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess we can just play Sun Titan. Ugh. I see how I, I tapped him. I was like, I'm just going to tap all my millions. I don't even care. <clears throat> Price for you and Mike to recreate Naruto opening video as the characters. Dench, you're asking for a lot of... That's, you're asking, that's you, got a lot of you got a lot of requests, buddy. BC, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Nice throw early. Monarch Cube is always a blast to watch. I agree with you. Do we have to actually act out, or can we just Photoshop our heads into the video? I think we have to act it out. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Or there could be two different price points, one for each. Uh, <laughs> one for each. I mean, know. I could do it if you give me enough time in Photoshop. Wow. 
You might have to do it for win Premiere, buddy. I don't know if it's... Uh... You could do it in Photoshop. It would be like the largest file ever in Photoshop, and it probably crash your computer. But other than that... How would you make video in, in Photoshop, though? You can make videos in Photoshop. Really? Yeah. It's like frame by frame, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not... It's not exactly frame by oh, frame. Oh, God. But there is a method. Oh. I think it's just Wrath of God. We're bringing Wrath of God. We'll take out... Text Mage, maybe? <clears throat> we didn't see any, like, Planeswalkers or anything. Okay, well, what's the price for a draft where you can't speak English? You can only speak any other language that's gibberish. So gibberish. Got it. That's, that's not really a stipulation. I kind of like Disenchant, too, because we saw both Immortal Sun and Everflowing Chalice. I want to bring that in. The what to cut? Probably nothing. You know how I do. I still think Lens is pretty weak. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for two months. Really appreciate it. Great content. Since thanks for free. You are welcome. Thank you for the support. You are awesome. I will keep this hand. And hope that it all come, It all works out in the end. It's going to be Inquisition. You ready? It was a great board news. I lied to you. Okay, such a liar. I know. Pack one, pick one, boobery is pretty good. <clears throat> Have you shown your belly yet? I wasn't paying attention. Not yet. That's really... Uh, Save it for a special moment. Isn't any moment you show your belly a special moment? I want to kill this thing right now. What's the price to get you to host a cooking show? One snickle. Is that more or less than a straw penny? It's about the same. They're similar. Okay. Similar but different. <sighs> Don't upgrade. <clears throat> Don't be upgrading. Oh, he upgrading. Oh, they already did? Did they? No. No. But he probably gonna. I think I just attack instead. Oh, wow. Oh, that's weird. Love it. That's an interesting line. You're an interesting line. If we you can still level it up. You just... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think we're just going to play Br Brimaz here. Because next turn we can skin render anyway. The king of cats. <clears throat> but if we coalition relic... Hmm. One, two, three. Four, five. We have six next turn if we coalition relic. Yeah. But Brimaz is pretty good. I agree with you. I wanna know. <clears throat> can you brim ass? How much to have you to tip to see you slap Mike? Kind of hard, you know? <laughs> well, whatever you tip, I'll split with Mike if it's a real hard slap. How much am I worth? Was the question. It's a good question. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a good one. What are you willing to sacrifice is the question, I guess. <laughs> what are you willing to sacrifice? Skindy McRindy. This card's very good. I'm glad we brought in Disenchant, but I don't see it yet, so... Show the belly, Mike. Do it. Stop playing around, it's, man. It's not happening. God, quit making, it, quit making excuses. Eventually, I'll wear one of my high Yeah. Oh, midriffs. yeah. yeah. That's going to be... Oh, that's going to be a spe special day. <laughs> I'll make sure I post that in the uh, in the description of the stream. This card's real good. I wish I could draft this card more, but I never opened it, so. <clears throat> see, I think what the problem is is that he lifts his shirt. We'll see what it really is. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Krang. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Those are indeed the Obsidat Ghost Bros. What's that even from? I don't know. Probably some like it's probably it's got to be a Hanna Barbera cartoon, right? It looks like one. Oh, abrupt decay on Brimaz. Oh, that makes my Sun Titan even better. This guy's really hard to deal with right now. That's you awkward for right. everybody. 
Is this Obzid out here? We can also we can chalice for two, and also play Coalition Relic. It's a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have like ten mana next turn. And they are kind of stalled here, which does us play Sun Titan and Graveborn Muse. Or Obzidad Graveborn Muse. That seems pretty good. This is also a zombie. This is a lot of things that we're doing. <clears throat> they also missed a land drop, so that's pretty good. They are drawing two cards a turn, though. That's pretty bad. All right. When you mention Tree Speaker upgrading, it reminds me of the character upgrade in the movie Idiocracy. Great movie. I haven't seen all of Idiocracy, actually. Really? Yeah. I feel oh. like I should, though. you just seen the clips? Yeah. I've just seen, like, the... It's a pretty oh funny film. Oh, my God. Come on. I would definitely recommend watching it. In entirety. Well, that's just rude. I agree with you. That is just rude. Hey, man, we can get it back, though. Hooray! Oh. What? Because it will have no counter. Oh, you didn't realize that? No, no, I did. I was... Ball. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, your joke. I guess I just didn't get your joke. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> God, stop playing things. Can I just draw my disenchant one time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll play Obzidat and Disenchant. Actually, I probably want to play Greyborn Muse here because we can. Alright, all these creatures are not great. Did you just double block here? Oh, not anymore. Forgot about that exalted Triggs. <clears throat> um, black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arg. I feel like it actually has to be Greyborn Muse here. We just need to get rid of this Immortal Sun. I'm probably bringing in a second thing for that. <clears throat> he really hasn't played anything too threatening. Right, but they're drawing two cards a turn. Well, now we will, too. Well, we'll draw three, actually, because we have two zombies. Oh. Some type boy. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, and everything costs one less, so. If we can draw a Disenchant Wrath of God off of our two cards, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Oh, God. Oh. I imagine we're dead. Uh, yep. Always a pleasure, Crater Huff Behemoth. I don't think so. You're right. All right. Well, now we're just bringing in... Uh... Did we bring in both? Yeah. No, we didn't. We brought, we brought in one. Oh. I'm bringing Brain Maggot, too. I'm going to bring all the things to deal with your nonsense. I'm take Everflowing Chalice out. It's the only one I care if they kill it early. I'm take Precursor all out. Now we have Disenchant, <clears throat> Brain Maggot, Forsake the Worldly, and Quarantine Field to deal with their stupid thing. So I guess that's good, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. I will play first. Oof, there it is. That's pretty good. I'll keep it. Don't sing his song. He doesn't deserve that. And it makes me feel some type of way. As you may know. Hmm. I didn't. You knew. I love a little chappy. An isolated little chappy. 
I hate that. Reveal their hand. Okay, then I click OK again. This is programmed so weirdly. Oh, Rex Sage just kills this guy, so I guess we have to take Rex Sage. But then they just got turned to Nissa, which is kind of scary. Otherwise, they just got turned to Rex Sage and kill our guy. Mm hmm. So I guess we'll take Rex Sage. Edgy's deck is good. It's not bad. It's not bad. That's gone. Nissa's gone. Do you think Ghost Council debates over who's... Really? Oh, because you drew that. I see. Well, we know all of your hand now. Alright, that was a... Fine draw. I feel like we're not doing great here. This hand is not where we want to be, especially when they have a tooth and nail in hand. This hand's a little slow. You think? You think, Michael? No, I know. Although they don't have that much left, actually. They just have Thrag Tusk, Tooth and Nail, and one other card. They do have five mana, though, so I guess they can just Thrag Tusk next turn. Wrath of God would be nice here. <clears throat> It's actually also not bad. And it's the only thing we can do. So, you know, we got that going for us. That's all I can do. do, do, do. Hunter's got a licking problem. Lick, lick. Licking problem. I think I'm pretty eager to sacrifice this guy to Distended Mindbender next turn. To steal, like, Tooth and Nail. And... JK. Cool. I guess we don't get to do that now. It's really frustrating. Uh, I think ghosting is actually cheating. I mean, there's no way to enforce it, though, because you can't prove someone is or isn't watching. But I would definitely consider it cheating. Wrath of God one time. No Wrath of God. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. I'm not actually going to exile here. They only have five mana, though, which is nice, because they can only, uh... Grandma needs to know where she left her pills. Where do you think she left them? <sighs> That's a good question. I know. Where's a good card when you need it? If ghosting is cheating, you can't use Obsidat. Nice. Nice. I like it. So this guy costs five. So this guy would cost, what, two? Mm -hmm. Black, black. So we can actually unburial right to the brain maggot this turn. And then next turn, eat the Obsidat, reanimate the Obsidat. Or actually, we don't need to because we'll have this. So I guess we can just save it. We got some almonds. Almond, alms, almsadat. I guess we're just taking 10. I'm, I'm referring to the almonds on the planes. Oh, these almonds. Yeah, look at those things. Those are delicious. How much is for modern cube entrance? Uh, 10 play points or 10 tickets. 100 play points or 10 tickets. I guess we'll take six here. Is 
So next turn we're going to Mind Bender and then Unbarrel Rights the opposite out, which is pretty good. What is this clip? What just happened? Doo -doo -doo. Hunter's got a licking problem. Lick, lick. Licking problem. <laughs> that was a great clip, actually. Way to go, Treasure Pratt. Way to go, buddy. I will take six here. Pretty sure we can actually attack next turn and they're not gonna like chump block with enough guys, but what do I know? Sweet action. I think even if they do attack even if they do block with enough guys, I'm just fine eating a bunch of dudes of theirs. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Four, five, six, seven. Sack you. The stack. Don't you remember you showed me your hand, baby? Do -do 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 -do. Is this... Oh, she gets to choose an ancient grudge. All right. Which is probably better in your graveyard. Oh, you got a crater hoof in hand. That's pretty cool. Which do I actually hate more? Probably the crater hoof, I think. I feel like that too. It's one is... cheaper and it kills us really hard. Well, it's one more, right? Well, they could just play this for seven if they wanted to. Oh, yeah, true. Which makes it even more scary. So probably the Crater Roof. Wait, what? I would take the Crater Roof. Grandma, thank you so much for the cheer, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hope you found your pills. I also hope you found your pills, Grandma. Um, no. I don't think we have the luxury of keep blinking this guy out. Damnation would be nice. Or Wrath of God, rather. Cheshire Pratt, enjoy your food. Make sure you don't have a licking problem. Me too, I may die. Oh god, grandma's not doing good. Oh no. Sorry, grandma. It's your grandma, boys. Oh, barman, you tell up this clip. Where are we looking? Oh god. <laughs> Oh, barman. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much. Appreciate your, uh, well, you know. You know what's appreciated. Oh, no attacks. All right. That's a card that draws more cards. All right. That is my favorite. I'm actually tempted to unbarrel the brain maggot right now. Because it is a zombie. No, it's just an insect. Dang. Well, it would take the tooth nail out of his hand, right? Right. And it would leave them with very little. And we now have a way that we can kind of stay alive, so. Yeah, seems good. Bloodbraid Elf. Well, it's definitely tooth and nail. I could care less about your red card that you have no way to cast. And I think I'm actually going to blink this guy now. Yeah, I think it's safe. <clears throat> Alright, it was land. Seems good. 
They can alpha, but that doesn't seem great. They're probably just going to attack with Thrag Tusk, which I'll block with Distended Mindbender, I think. This guy's not doing us any favors. We get to draw two. Seems good. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can exile three things. It's pretty good. It's actually very good. Do we care about exiling any of their things? Maybe we should just go like exile this guy, this guy, and this guy. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can wait a turn. Like, because they're not going to flip this guy next turn. Maybe. One, two, three. They attack with everything, though. Because we built a block. I kind of want to do it now, actually. I think it's greedy if we don't. I think we're getting rid of Nyssa, Avocado, and Noble Hierarch. Could have also gotten rid of the beast, but it's just a 3-3 now. This board looks a lot safer now. Indeed. I still don't feel like blinking is correct when they have the beast, and I don't really want to block with anything, so we will not be blinking. Well... Advocate gives treetop village a boost, but not everything. Oh, clearly we should have waited. That's yeah, pretty good. You're right. No, we didn't draw land anyway. One, two, three, four, five. They're still a ways off of casting this, so we'll play this guy. Swamp. And now we will start blinking. Actually, do you just attack here? If you want to block with Beast to Reclamation Sage, that's pretty okay. I don't think that's a very good trade. I don't think so either. I'm just going to have six here. We don't have any responses. Oh, this is a Golem. That's pretty sweet, actually. Gives first strike. I'm sure they're gonna kill Brain Maggot, but they don't have one, two, three, four, five, six. They only have six mana, so. We could always draw Inquisition of Kozlik to rip the uh Wow. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing draw. <laughs> oh, congratulations. You're very good at this game. Wow. Sure. I mean, we still know they have Blood Bloodbird Elf in hand, and that's pretty much it. Master's pretty annoying. Wow, that was amazing. That's, and that's probably the game right there. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Yep, abrupt decay on the quarantine field. I mean, I'm only really concerned with getting Nissa in the 4-5 back, which is also 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana? Actually, Wrath of God into Sun Titan would be absolutely insane right here. So, double block? Yeah, we're definitely double blocking. So they're going to kill Blade Splicer so that we trade with the Beast, which is totally fine because whatever. Sure. Let's 
Uh, I do not have any spicy standard brews. I have not looked at standard in several weeks, unfortunately. Two lands is actually pretty sick here. But it wasn't. You're right. I may have been lying. Nope, not blinking anymore. Yep, Greyborn Muse. See you later. Yeah, I like single blocking too, but like if we don't hit anything, like then we're just in worse shape because we we're not getting anything off the board. So and then we have less of a way to do that. Because, like, this guy's going to find us something at some point anyway, so. I like that once they hit their seventh mana, their seventh land, they can both play Tooth and Nail and flip this on the same turn. It's pretty good. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 17 lands, right? So, 5 lands to draw. Yep. To the surprise of no one. So 25% of our deck is lands. Wow, half the deck, no red mana. Well, I mean... You're winning. I hate... It. So annoying. So sorry about your luck, man. <laughs> like, come on, dude. No, Inquisition of Kozilek. A fine draw. There we go. That's a girl. Unfortunately, we lose this guy. Yeah, but... The problem is they get back Tooth and Nail and they get back stupid... Oh, uh, they still have Treetop Village. Can you activate your treetop in response to this? I'd appreciate it. I mean, they're just going to... We know they're just going to... Uh, mountain. Top deck mountain, right? Attack with blood braid and treetop. Sure. Just fine. Nope. That's not what you want to do. a good draw here <laughs> i don't even know sun, Titan. sun titan's pretty good i guess get back brain maggot <sighs> this is where they go land tooth and nail for two dudes right Uh, it's no, it's not possible to blink around. I, I, I mean, is it possible to blink council so that you can wrath? What does that mean? It it blinks at the end of the turn, so it would be too late to blink it. I mean, once it's once it's blinked already, you're not going to be able to cast, cast wrath of God. Yeah. yeah. All right, go to five. I wish your treetop village was an enchantment. Mm. 
The simple answer is no. You can't blink, correct. For real? Unblocked, I guess. You can reset their elf. Yeah, it's really... Less than ideal. Pretty sure we're just hanging on by a thread here. We know they have inevitability in hand, so... Mention blink, draw flicker wisp. Wow, good point. Sure. I will go to one. Yeah, that's more important. Activating tree speaker to tooth and nail next turn. Wow. Oh, I guess you can still tree top and put me to two instead. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Watch, we're going to draw Soren. It's going to be a good draw, but fashionably late to the party and useless. So. All oh, right. Land. Well, there you go. Wow. Okay. Would have cycled into Soren. Okay. I was, I was one turn off. All right. Good times as usual. Let the good times roll. I'm trying. I'm trying to let them roll. Let the good times roll. That's a car song. You're a car song. Really? Got him. Did you? Did you ever get anyone in your life? Yeah. Your mom. Huh. Yeah, one time she was carrying a book and I slapped it out of her hand. Oh my god, that's so rude, dude. Why would you do that? She 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 had it coming. Did she? What did she do? She was carrying around that book all smug like. Yeah, she's pretty smug about her book carrying. Her book carrying ways. You're not wrong. I've told her about that before. I'm like, hey, you need to you need to carry these books less smugly. Ooh, another white border card. Deliciously. Uh, an attractive. unnecessarily white bordered card, you're right. Let the good times roll. Are you going to let them roll or what? Maybe. Alright, that's good to know. Here we have infinite vampire hex mage triggers if we want. That's true. Oh wow, are they going to counter this? Sensor? Yeah. Sure. What book was it though? That's a good question. I don't know. Okay. I didn't read it. <laughs> Well, you know, to each their own. Oh, which one do we play? Probably the King Cat. This guy's getting countered too? You had double sensor? This and scatter. Ooh. I don't know. Sure. It is it is sensor number two. Congratulations. There's, oh, did they just F6 their turn? I can't tell. I, I also don't mind because... Splicer or Chalice for two? It's Chalice for one and Splicer. Oh, that's also pretty good. Kicked one time. I have a counter for that too. Oh. That's a car song. Your car song. Really? Got him. Did you? Okay. You Did got you ever him. get anyone in your life? Yeah. Your mom? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, are they just like... What's going on right now? What are the odds they have a fourth counter spell in hand? 100%. Is it? Yeah. They probably have a second room snag. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for, idiot. I mean, we can inquisition them. Right. But then we can't send that. 
Guys, what do we do? I think it's Inquisition here. Yeah, I'd rather pay safe, play it safe. Got him! Are you gonna counter my Inquisition now? This guy literally just has all counters. Wow. Oh my god. Is this real life? <laughs> Is this just fantasy? This, this guy literally drafted so far one, two, three, four counter spells. That is so ridiculous. And they were all in their opening hand. All right. Let's make the magic. Make the donuts here. Do you have a fifth counter spell? Of course they do. Oh, my God. Having Ooh. a good time. Having a good time. This is just not even real life. Like, their ratio of counter spells to cards is... They have more counters than lands so far. Everything is terrible. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Sure, you get my you get my skin render. You got it. Unbarrel rights one time. Okay, well, we're basically dead again because we have nothing and they have infinite turns to do things. They missed four land drops, which is reassuring, but we have no way to take advantage of it because they've drawn more counter spells than lands this game. After the fifth counter, I knew you deserved a sub. Nice. That's all it took. <laughs> sure. Hey, look, a condemn target for them to counter. <laughs> hey. No, no force of will? I got a guy. <laughs> no pact of negation? Okay. R2-3 is better. R2-3 is better. I have D-Touch. Oh, they got a second island. That's good. Now they're, now they're Force of Wills online. They can just hard cast it. Cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's quite the hand, buddy. On barrel rights. Sure. Just as good. Just as good, I think. Okay. Oh my god, what is this one? Alright. Let's make the magic. Make the donuts here. Do you have a fifth counter spell? Of course they do. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time. Having a good time. Oh, this look at another planeswalker. Not even real life. All right, let's make the magic. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good clip. I like it. Let's see how this, how long this guy lasts. Hey, he survived. I have all of the golems. Golem doesn't. It's not abilities that get copied, right? No, it's, okay. it's instant or sorceries, thank God. Your opponent's go. deck seems to be a submarine throw of super aids. Oh, wow. <sighs> That's just fantastic. Yep. 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 I'm having a good time. Are you? No. Quarantine field. <laughs> All right, we're just going to leave now. My time is more valuable than this. Okay. Let's get a brain maggot in here. Take out one of these bad boys. Is it interactive?
Take out the Shriek Maw. Bring in the whip. Ghost ride your whip. Oh, I probably could have come back, but I just don't care. Like, my time is worth more than that. When I'm not having a good time, my best solution to that is to stop not having a good time and attempt to have a good time. So that's what we're doing. Having a good time. Good luck, have fun. Well, I was trying before we were paired against each other, but... Yeah, we just got the, uh, <laughs> the, the good luck, have fun. Oh, good times. Why'd I keep this hand? Because I don't know, man. I don't care. I don't care, Japoshi. That's why. Look at this guy. Oh, wow. Look, they couldn't have snapped a, a sensor off any sooner. Having fun again. Oh wow, we get to get to play a thing here if we draw land. We didn't. We have literal no plays. Cool. Oh god. Wow. I am surprising. I am surprised. Interesting. That's the Cat King. Interesting. I get to draw a card here. And kill with skin render. That seems great. Actually, now I'm tempted to just quarantine field both of these things. Also an option. We can also skin render an Aether, an Aetherborn, which seems pretty good. But... It might pop on stone, but that's fine. I want to say fill for Planeswalkers, but, like, if we play two things, I guess we can play two things here. I guess that's fine. All right. Well, there's no days in this cube because it's modern, <laughs> so... We're also one man away from just hard casting Gristlebrand, which is pretty cool. I'm also not a big fan of uh, Whip of Erebos getting removed with the Oblivion Stone, so. Please pop this now. Oh my god, I'm actually thrilled about you popping that right now. Because now I can play things safely. Ooh. Whip of Erebos and Solemn Simulacrum. It gets exiled though, right? Oh, that's sad. So we don't actually get to draw the card. But we still get the, the land, which puts us to 8. And Gristlebrand. Are you going to kill this guy? Now we get to kill Gristlebrand? Okay. Or, uh, <laughs> Obnixilus, not Gristlebrand. <laughs> what do we get back, though? Just Solemn? Yeah. Is this only at sorcery speed? Activate this? Yeah, okay. Wow, this is a great trade. I wish I had a way to sacrifice my own Psalm Simulacrum here. 
I'll just be content with eight lands, though. Eight mana. Hope they tap all their blue for something. Like a like a blue Phyrexian Obliterator. Yeah, that exists. Doesn't it? No. Do you think I could Quarantine Field and, and, and hit all their blue? Yeah, man. I don't see why not. Okay. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we can do it for three. We can hit three blue. I don't know what to do here, though. I don't want to just run this guy out into f the seven up. No way. Yeah. No way. Just keep attacking with things from the graveyard. We're going to run out of things from the graveyard. But we'll get to keep a cat token. Okay. Aggressive. Got to exile him now. Oh, I guess if they counter, we can just whip it back, right? That's true. Yeah, we're going to try to do that now. And we get to keep up Condemn now, so that's pretty good. No, no land. Oh, that's a ghost dad. Oh, that's actually very good with Whip of Erebos. Yes, that, it is. That's what's known as a combo. Oh, dang it. Let's do a double black here. Well, we get to play around sensor at least. Oh! Woo, boy. I guess we're having fun now, boys. Dissolve is not exile. You're thinking of dissipate. Dissolve is the one where you scry one. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Nope. Never gets easier. But we do have quarantine fill. It's true. Now they're going to just kill our gristle brand. I think I'm, I'm a phantasmal image. You're going you're gonna to copy my gristle brand a second time. Sure. I gotta hover over this guy. Yep. Oh, I like Inquisition into Quarantine Field. That seems pretty baller. Amp, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I guess we're gonna find out how many counter spells they just threw. And then we can hit them with our own Gristle Brand for seven. Puts them to six. Let's pop these graveyards out. It seems relevant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Rune Scar Rune Rune Snag Scarab God. Elder Deep Fiend. Well, we'll take that. And we'll keep that out so we can see what you got. Wow, a bunch of lands and a Scarab God and an Elder Deep Fiend. Don't care about either of those things. So what do we need to do this for? One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't have enough for anything else after that, unfortunately. Or maybe we don't care about Liliana. We don't really. We actually probably just want to get Gristlebrand out of the graveyard so that Scarab God can't eat it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this guy has to get out. I mean, they can Scarab God and then eat, like, 
Gifted Aetherborn or Skin Render or Flicker Wisp, which is pretty annoying. But they are at six. Do draw seven or probably not? Um, I think it might be worth it. I mean, we'll have to discard a bunch. Granted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have to discard eight cards, and we'll only have six cards in our deck. Yeah, but we do have a whip out, which makes that better. Yeah, but they have Scarab God too. True. So they can just eat whatever we get back. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think we just pass here. Discard a swamp. Let's see what land they play. Uh, two six power dudes don't matter because they can just exile one of the six power dudes. Like, whatever we target with Whip, they just exile it in response. So, like, Scarab God actually makes Whip very, very bad. Unless they don't play Scarab God here and they just keep up Elder Deep Fiend. That seems weird, though. No, they're going to play Scarab God. <laughs> like you do. Yeah, you can condemn Scarab God. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six mana. We want to keep one up. Might just be Precursor Golem here. Yeah, seems fine. Like, we know four of their five cards, which is pretty good. We will be blinking. They can also flicker wisp blink one of our tokens, which is pretty pretty annoying. Yeah, Scarab God should have definitely been a tap ability. <laughs> Brennan, Brennan Fraser did used to condemn Scarab Gods all the time. Fair point. That was from a little movie called The Mummy. Thank you. I got I you. I had no idea that movie existed. No one does. How about that remake, though? What's a remake? I didn't see it. They also have a Tefri they can get back with Scarab God, which is cute. They actually were pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, they're in our chat. I love it. I love that they're in our stream now. Fantastic. Well, you don't say. Yeah, that's good times. My favorite. The classic. Let me join your stream while we're playing against one another. Good luck, have fun though. Oh, I'm having I'm having fun and I am I'm having good luck, so correct on both counts. <laughs> oh sure.
cool. So you have Elder Deep Fiend, and that's pretty much it. Maybe one other card, but it wasn't a counter spell. So rune tank's gone, sensor's gone, so I guess we'll just play everything out here. Is it bad that a whole family says bag of barbecue potato chips in three days? That's actually no, not really. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Three days is reasonable. It's a good amount of time. If you reduce that to one day, then one it's not day. Okay. Karakon, go for it. What if you just alpha here? They go block here, block here, they take six. Or they go block here, block here, they still take six. I guess they have Elder Deep Fiend to bring in. Which changes plans and things. Knowing they have Elder Deep Fiend is pretty good. Wow, <laughs> Karakong, nice dude. Uh, you are you are you are the hero this this stream deserves. Oh, flicker wisp. Wow, who saw that coming? Huh. That is a lot of lucky charms. <sighs> What's happening now? Sure. No legal targets. Click OK. Seems good. Wow. Very good. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Scarab God's not our fair card. I agree. Wow, it's funny they left the chat after uh after that message. That's pretty cool. Well, this deck was not our finest effort, unfortunately. It seemed decent on paper. Uh, 
Oh, you're going after Soren. Good for you. Like, we just can't do anything when they have seven mana up every single turn. So, Oh, they're back in the, they're back in the chat. They came back. He's talking in chat. <laughs> wow. Really? I missed those. Fine draws. Good times, good times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's always comical when your when your Twitch name is the same as your Magic Online name. It's like you're not even trying. Also, it's funny because. Like, when you're not in the stream when we first start playing, and then you end up showing up in the stream after we, our match has already started, it's kind of weird. Also, like, this is cute, man. What are you That's what, are you what I don't get. Like, are you you're just trying to scum some play points? All right, man. That's cool. Yep. Ah, oh, the old one creature in the graveyard that you just take as soon as we go for it. Cool. I mean, as I always say, like, it's it's very possible you could just be... Like, but there's... I, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt, but there's no reason to be in the chat. Bottom line. There's no reason to open my Twitch page while we're playing if you're curious if i'm streaming you could ask Yeah, I don't think someone made an account with the same name. That's like too way too much effort for something that has literal zero upside. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Why wouldn't you alpha here? This seems like plenty of guys. I don't know. Oh, they're no longer in the chat anymore. So that's good. See you later, I guess. Thanks for for watching. <laughs> All right. Congrats on your win. You did good. Yeah, st stream sniping in a card game is so much worse than in like a PUBG game. Because in a PUBG game, your reflexes don't have time to respond to what you're seeing, right? Like if you see a dude, you still like, they can kill you while you're looking at this other screen. Whereas like in Magic, you can just be like, let me analyze everything that's going on here. Let me write down every detail. And then I can come back to the game at my leisure. And use the information I found. Your opponent's name is Make America Great Again. Oh, boy. <laughs> so
So, and if you're in the chat, you clearly have the window open, which means you're either listening to me talk about you stream, you, you sniping and ghosting, um, or you have it on mute, which then like, why not just close the window? Like, none of it makes sense, right? Like, I always want to give the benefit of the doubt, and I always want to be like, eh, maybe they just opened it up to check, see if we were streaming, and then they just put it on in the background and, and you know, muted it and didn't look at it. But in that case, just like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? It's super suspicious. It doesn't need to happen. You could just ask me. So, yeah, it makes no sense. It's just not... That's a good draw. You might say it was perfect. He doesn't owe you anything, though. You're putting the information out there. Wow, all right, cool. I, You're right. You're right. You're right. Not good. Not good. Like my my milk two k my problem is that like you weren't in the ch in the chat initially when I first started playing because I always look to see if my opponent is in the chat, and then you were, like halfway through a match, so like even if you opened it halfway through you still get to open it and see what I, my hand is so like even if you can be like hey sorry I wasn't watching, you opened it during a point in the middle of our match right so unless you did it with your eyes closed you're still seeing something so it doesn't really make any sense like. Right, exactly what Ori, Ori, Ori Felix says. Like, you still see. So I don't see the point of doing it. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make any sense to do. That is a beautiful chicken. That is a beautiful, beautiful chicken. Um, we can skin render it, but that's not that great. I just quarantine feel it. Yeah, probably have to. We could wait a turn, see what else they play, and then do it for two. It's probably better. Oh, yeah, that's probably better. I'll just take four here. Oh, that Did is 1,000% a mosquito. No. Oh, that's good. Which is very unfortunate, because that thing was huge. Crafty little munchkins. They are crafty little munchkins. You're right. That was 1,000%. You can see because they're real fat. Fat off my blood. Yeah, see, this is better. We just get rid of both these guys. Oh. I How many times can we get got? Well, we're up to four. We're up to three in this one draft. So maybe we're the, maybe this is our O three deck. That is unfortunate. Not a fan. Not a fan. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Dead on board. Wow, Wrath of God one time maybe. Sure. Well, your point about there being nothing you can do about it if you stream did not come across well when you say, what do you expect? Or, not, or he doesn't owe you anything, you're putting the information out there. I think people do owe you something. When you sit across the table from someone and you're playing a competitive game against them, I think you do owe that person the respect of not looking at their information, whether it be their hand or, you know, the cards they draw or you're listening to their voice when they're commentating plays. I think you do owe them that. And I also think we're dead here. Yep. I don't think Wrath of God is in our main deck, is it? Nope. No. It is now. All right. It's like the only card I want here. Uh, Whip seems good because life gain. Yeah, life gain does seem pretty good. Probably cut like distended mind bender. 
pretty slow. Yeah, I could see that. Right, like as a streamer yourself, as someone with your own stream, your own Twitch channel, I would imagine that you don't want someone to come into your channel when they're playing against you. Like it just, it's not a good feeling. Can't see fun. I was in a queue for HU not too long ago on a stream join my pawn. I started watching the stream after round one and we played in the final, so I sent him a pick of my day. That's awesome, actually. That's a good because that you don't know you're gonna play this person, right? So that's pretty sweet, actually. That's a good gesture. Yeah, look, it's a little dog. One pupperino. <laughs> Oh boy. It's getting aggressive in here. Either way, let's let's forget about it and let's focus on this this loss we're gonna receive handily to uh the, the red white token aggro deck. Positive, I see. Well, I don't I don't think this deck turned out very well, uh, which is good. I mean not good, but it's we learned something. It's a little slow. It's a little slow, right? And the the mana in black white decks is always really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I stand behind what I say. You don't like it. It's not a matter of not liking what you say. It's a matter of the first two things you said. Uh, well, one of one is they're wrong. I do think people do owe you something when they're playing a competitive game against you. And two, the second thing is not the same thing as the first thing you said. They're two different things. Let's get this mana tied out of the way. So, four four mana ties, four 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 spikes against us in this in this in this draft alone. So far, it looks like the angry doggo is winning. I uh, I think you might be. I'm gonna I'm gonna unbarrel right to the solemn simulacrum. Really? Yeah. Why not? Well, now I might just quarantine field that hell rider. Which doesn't feel good, because we're taking three, four, six, seven, going to nine. We also have very little removal in our deck, so, you know, that's a thing. This is where we play this guy, they lightning heal us, they gain nine, and then they attack us for seven again, so. Uh, I don't think you're a horrible person if you want to make that deck. I just think you have no soul. <laughs> Who wins? Two barbobbly boys or one angry doggo? The angry doggo, 99% of the time. He's very angry. Oh my god, are you going to path this guy? Wait, what happened? Why did you tap your mana like that? They just tapped their planes and then passed? Oh, I'll do another one after this. Mike will probably go to bed, but... Why would I do that? I don't know, you get tired real early. That's not even true. Yeah, it is, Grandpa. Grandpa Barbobbly boy. I sleep late, but I stay up late. When do you ever stay up late? Man, all I do is watch YouTube at night. That's true, but you do that from your room. I mean, I may be in my room, but I'm I'm you, this may surprise you. Go on. I'm not always asleep when I'm in my room. Right, that's what I mean though. So like you could just as easily keep streaming, but then you're like, "All right, time for me to go." And then you go to bed. Wait. Really? The only commitment I have tomorrow is a phone interview at 11.30, so. Oh, which means you got to be up early. This actually seems pretty good. What just happened here? How did we... I mean, we definitely got to get rid of this lady. But the question is, do we get rid of the Boros Signet? Probably the Boros Signet. I don't care about your doggo, really. Which is sad it's to say. Rude. I know it. It didn't feel good saying it. He's just a he's just a hound of Kona. Condo. Condo. I guess we're all wrong. Everybody's wrong here. Condo. He's got his own place. Well, they can't leave one for manatide up. They already manatide this. You can't double tie this. All right. If you're in a room, are you still chewing ice? I can't hear it on the video, so I assume you're asleep when you're not on stream. <laughs> I was looking for a three mana card so I can play Whip. 
Also, yes, I chew ice very frequently. Ghost ride your whip. I'm just going to attack with both and gain six. Because otherwise you're going to tap one down. Tap one down. Pass it around. What do you attack for? Four, five, six, seven. So we actually gained... Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, oh, that's so bad fine. with whip, though. Are you going to exert? No exertion? Okay. Can I get a skin render up in here? King of the cats, huh? Well, we have to attack for three here, otherwise we... Oh, they got first strike. Oh, yeah, they gross. do. Gross. I don't know how to get rid of that. I guess it's just Brimaz and... God, whip is so bad. I guess we can actually whip back Precursor Golem. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot of bodies. We do have to well, survive, though. Wood Three, four, six, seven, eight. No, we're actually dead on board. Yeah, because whip, they do, they would come and play tap, first of all. Right, but we'd still have them in play for next turn. But the problem is now they just exert this guy, tap this guy, and they attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I had a good time. Did you, son? No, father. Wow, this is like the perfect card. Yep. Dead. Super dead. Everyone. Maybe they don't see it. Never. Wow. Oh three. Good lord. Sure. Now it cannot block, and I can attack. No, that's a different one. My creatures. Oh, never mind. Wait. Now oh, they're just gonna kill it old-fashioned way. Sure. Cool. All right. Well, the uh, least successful draft I've ever done in my life. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys uh, uh, didn't mind both the the, the ghosting salt that, that, that was present and the uh, lack of victories that were present and the five, six, seven spells that were eight, nine, ten spells that were countered, four of them being countered by Mana Tithe slash Force Spike effects. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.